In this video, I'll be showing you how to use your PS3 controller on your Amazon Fire TV. Some of the things you will need are a rooted Amazon Fire TV, a Windows PC, PS3 controller with a USB cable, 6-axis pair tool for Windows, and 6-axis controller APK. 4 and 5 will be in the description. On your Amazon Fire TV, you want to head over to Settings, Applications, Manage All Installed Applications, and scroll down to Super User. You want to launch Super User, and then scroll over to Settings. Now you want to go down to Access, and select Default Access, and set it to Grant. You will see why we did this later on in this video. Now you can go ahead and exit Super User. And now the next thing you want to do is go ahead and install 6-axis controller using your computer. So you can use ADB through Command Prompt or Terminal. Or you can also use ADB Fire, which is a program that makes it easier to install applications on your Amazon Fire TV. Again, links will be in the description on where you can download the APK file. You want to go ahead and launch 6-axis controller. Select No. And then you want to press the menu button on your remote. And select Preferences. You want to scroll down to Gamepad Settings. And Enable Gamepad. Now you want to hit the back button twice. At this point, you can go ahead and click the start button. Select yes. And now the application is going to do its thing. And as you can see, it has granted super user access. And that is why we needed to set this up earlier because if you go ahead and disable Bluetooth, then it will not let you select grant or deny so that's why you had to do it beforehand and now we are good to go at this point you want to go ahead and copy down your local bluetooth address once you have copied down the local bluetooth address you want to go over to your computer and launch the six axis pair tool The first time you launch this application, it will ask you to plug in the PS3 controller so it can install the drivers. Once you are done installing the drivers and the 6-axis pair tool, you can go ahead and plug in your PS3 controller if it's not already plugged in. Plug in the other end to your computer. And now your computer should detect the current master Bluetooth address that is on the PS3 controller right now. Now for you guys it may be different but for me I have done this before so the Bluetooth address that it's giving me happens to be the Bluetooth address that my Amazon Fire TV gave me so all I have to do is just copy that over to change master and then I can click the update button. Remember that you have to do this for your local Bluetooth address not mine. Once you hit the update button, it should change the current master to whatever you just typed in. And now you can unplug the PS3 controller and head over to the Amazon Fire TV. Once you are at your Amazon Fire TV, you can hold up the PS3 controller and press the PS button. That is the center button if you are not aware of a PS3 controller. Now the six axis controller program will tell you that there is one client connected and you should be able to control your Amazon Fire TV. So let's check out what you can do with this. First of all, you can of course control your Amazon Fire TV, watch videos and stuff like that, but most importantly, you can play games with it. Now, I will mention that not every game is compatible, so I'm just gonna show you a few games that do work with it. Other games, you're pretty much gonna have to try them out if they work, good for you. If they do not work, well, I'm sorry. That's all I know. 
So Despicable Me Minion Rush happens to be one of the games that does work. And as you can see here, I have a gameplay of me playing and the PS3 controller. So you can use the directional arrows or you can use the joystick, whichever you prefer. Now as you will see shortly here, all of the other buttons are used for jumping. It doesn't matter if you press X, circle, triangle, or square, they are all configured to jump. So use whichever button you feel comfortable with. Now let's take a look at Sonic the Hedgehog 2. This one is also another game that works great with this controller. And I'll just have a quick gameplay showing it for you guys. And that's about it for now. Last but not least, this game right here, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's either Julian or Julian, whatever. But this game also works with the PS3 controller. And this game is just another Candy Crush knockoff, so it's, it's a little fun. You guys can go ahead and play it. I got it for free, so I can't really argue too much. And to wrap up this video, I have to mention that sadly, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas does not work with this remote. I don't know how to get it to work, but if I do find out, I will definitely let you guys know. Once you are done with your controller, all you have to do is go back to the, the six axis controller, hit no. And before we get out of here, I just wanted to show you guys that you can edit the mappings, but this is more for advanced users. I wouldn't really do it myself because I don't know how to work that, but it can be done and I might experiment with it later on, but that'll be in a different video. Anyways, once you are done, just click the stop button and now it's going to pretty much return your Bluetooth back to the stock remote. And now you are back using the regular Amazon Fire TV remote. That about does it for this video. Hit the like button if you liked it and subscribe to my channel.